Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode in the Time Vault series, where I search for old forgotten gems in uh, video games history. So, yeah, this is a bit of an experimental thing I'm doing. I'm trying to archive old video games that can't really be accessed anymore. And today we're starting off with Undercroft, a grid based dungeon crawler developed by Raking Grass Games and published by Yagex. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go right into the game and have a look at the opening and create our party and get going. This won't be a blind playthrough since I have played this game multiple times before, but I do believe I played it like five years ago last time, so I've forgotten most of the game. Uh, and this is also the moment where I Unveil that I'm actually not alone. I'm gonna be playing this along with my friend Victor. Hello. Hello. So, yeah. I don't think we need too much of an introduction. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Yeah. Uh, I have pre-checked the audio volumes and hopefully they're all right. So, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the new game. Oh, okay. I... <laughs> I thought we were going to have an introduction first, but perhaps party creation is more important. Um, of course, we could just hit a random party, but what's the fun in that? Uh, okay. I don't really remember the classes in the game. I think there are five classes or so. And we will have four party members, so we can bring most of the classes, but we'll have to keep one uh, out of the mix. Let's begin with adding some kind of Frontliner brutish guy, I guess. Uh, who looks like a brute? This guy looks like a brute. Hmm. But that guy looks like a Oh, wait, that guy. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go with something for now. Let's, let's go with this guy. Okay. Nelerwar was his name. Vorgar. Vorgar is an amazing name. Okay. <laughs> yes, Vorgar time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have the warrior. Hmm. Strong in melee combat, except in combat. Uh, expert in combat with various types of weapons and special <laughs> combat moves. Okay. Yeah. Strong in melee combat, except in combat. <laughs> except in combat, exactly. <laughs> I was a bit confused myself. Um. He has high health and pretty bad stamina. So stamina is the name for mana in this game. Uh, the mage type... Is the priest, priest the one I want to do summoner, the assassin. Excellent with bows, throwing weapons or exotic weapons. Let's just make a warrior for now. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, he looks like a warrior. Yeah, this would be the warrior type. And let's... Uh, oh. Oh. Plus two oh. can choose to give him bonuses and right. certain things. I think strength makes sense. Uh, or constitution, since he lacks the stamina. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now I'm gonna give him strength for now. I think yeah, we... I mean, that's fine as well, but I'm just... We'll uh, get the choice to level him up later. Yeah. Okay. So, sword expert, axe expert, mace expert, and polearm expert. Uh, this is just... I mean, let's make him an axe man. Sure. Yep. Okay. X guy, go ahead. Okay. Um, right. Second character. We'll have another one that can pretty much stand on the front line. Uh, I'm not sure how tanky priests are. Uh, who would be a priest in this bunch? Maybe the girl uh, kind of even there. She kind of looks a bit tanky with help though. Yeah. And you know, if you look tanky, you are tanky. Uh, that surely holds up with all modern animals, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Ayora was her name. Sure. Let's not come up with anything ourselves. And Priest. Bonus. Okay, hmm. She's not too squishy. Yeah, no, but she's not. Okay, a summoner, a summoner is apparently tankier, but we can perhaps switch the party around later. Uh, priest sounds like constitution would be helpful. Oh my god. 
Okay. Already I know where this is going, but let's just check out the skills first. Divine Aura raises physical hardness of the party. That's useful. Healing will always be useful. Heals the whole party as well. That's... Faith strengthens your attack. Yes. Uh, pretty cheap. Uh, persuades NPCs. They are sinners, so they pay you. Yes, that's a good one. Now, I'm not really sure how useful money is in this game, but this is pretty fun. So yes, it's really fun. I am tempted to pick healing in the beginning, though, but you know what? Whatever. We'll be rich at least. Later. Yes. Um, okay, let's go ahead and make a summoner right now, because I'm pretty sure I want one of those. Who here looks like a summoner? Um, uh, almost down to the left there. Hmm, could be, yeah. The half red face. Oh. Yeah. Either I've... that or uh, up one space and two to the right from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of him as well. Uh, <laughs> or, or the next guy. Or the one um, furthest down from that row. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, this one. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Uh, oh, I, I, was, I was speaking of the old lady, though. Yeah, yeah, but this looks cool. <laughs> yeah. So I mean the summoner. Actually, the summoner might be a bit more old and decrepit. Uh, this looks like a summoner, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean the summoner. Summon skeletons, ghosts, or creates golems. Cast deadly spells, or turns himself, excuse me, into a strong beast. Uh, yeah, it's a very all-roundish character. Power of range attacks and the hero's defense. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait, it raises their defense as well. Yeah, dexterity is kind of like avoiding attacks more so yeah, than. Uh, we could. You could use him as a sub tank. Yeah, I know. When this... you transform him into a beast and high into his defense stuff. Summoners are kind of tanky. Uh, I mean, I think the, the summoner will do a lot of melee attacks, so let's just give her more health. Uh, turn to beast. Actually, I'm tempted to give mana. We will be using mana quite a lot, I think, so yeah, let's do that. Turn to beast. Strength increases, fire resistance turns to zero. 20 and since uh, you get 200% extra strength when you turn to a beast, you don't need the strength really mm. as much. I really like most of these things. There are some ways to to build your characters in this game. Yeah. Like not all, not all abilities are like able to be maxed, of course. So I'm gonna go for skeletons because I like the bone economy. Yeah, they're, they're nice. Okay, and. Uh, let's finish up with a uh, wizard, I guess. Or an uh, assassin, if you want that. Yeah, the assassins require a bit more management because they run out of arrows and stuff. So oh, I think, yeah, take no mage. I think I'm just gonna go mage. But in that case, the guy, either the half red face or the guy with the blue tattoo on his face, is pretty cool, I think. Mm hmm, sure. This is Orden the mage. Yeah. Uh, even more mana? I mean... I the mean, power yeah. of melee attacks. Okay, so that doesn't help. But it does ra raise his health. Yeah, it does, but no, I mean, he's a, he's a mage. He's not supposed to be tanky. Okay, no, what can we give him? No, but he's not supposed to die by one hit either. Oh wait, he is. He's a wizard. <laughs> we have wizard's lore, a passive. Ring of protection, if this is... Okay, resistances. Fireball. Pretty Can you really stuff. take anything ever done by me? I think I'll actually yeah, I'm gonna go with frost. Frost is very really nice though. Yeah, because it has the chance of freezing and that yeah. can be amazing when it works. When it it's works. Really nice. Okay. For they were. And thus we begin our game. I'm gonna go ahead and read through the beginning monologue. Normal difficulty for hardcore RPG players. Hey, that sounds like me. You'll have to think out your strategies well and spend your limited resources wisely or you will lose. You get one third of the price of sold items and the enemies are at full strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. 
and here we are. Rumors go around the land that a great evil arose from an old abandoned royal graveyard near the city of Dolbrad. The dead are walking around that place, killing anyone who tries to explore the secrets of the tombs. Okay, I almost hit skip intro there. The stories reached a small remote town where travelers and merchants meet. In a tavern, they quietly talked about ferocious corpses wandering the graveyard during the night. Then you enter the scene, strengthened by a couple of beers. Why are you whispering like old hens? A few stinking carcasses are no match for a real adventurer. Ha! That's bound to go well. Yeah. That's some brave talk for a drunken tramp. Maybe you want to show us how you can deal with the stinking corpses. Ha! I need some motivation to get my hands dirty with rotten flesh. Well, what about 10,000 coins? If you bring a piece of the king's treasure as proof you got into his tomb. I think we have a deal. I can't do voices, they just go all over the place. The merchant goes, We travel to Tolbad's market to do some business. Meet us in the Jolly Goose Tavern when you have the king's gold. Hurry up, man. I'll be there in no time. Don't make me wait. <sighs> Okay, and with that simple sound effect, we are awake. You wake up in some cellar, barely remembering what happened lately, and how you got there. Wait a moment, did you bet some merchants that you would explore a graveyard filled with zombies and bring back a gold piece for the king's tomb? No! Okay, Simpsons references. So this is the game. The game, trademark, welcome to the game. We have no skills, apparently, thanks game. Uh, yeah, so this is a grid-based grid -based dungeon crawler. Uh, we'll be moving around using... Yeah, 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 thanks. We'll be moving around using the keypad in the bottom right. Uh, turning as we please. And it's quite a rapid movement. Uh, not really much of an animation. Uh, so that saves time, at least. And here we have our first encounter. So encounters in this game works on a turn-based system. Uh, you can select your target you wish to attack. You have your skills and attacks on the right, and you can do them in any order. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't mug the rats. No uh, problem. So we just have to attack. And everyone in the party gets a turn to attack before the enemy goes. We can also skip turns, and all the usual stuff. You now, do have to have a dead body to summon skeleton, right? Yes. Now most yeah. magics are... I think most magics are uh, AoE based. Uh, at least the frost one we have right here seems to be AoE based, since it hit the rat on the right as well. It might be that it does a smaller amount of the damage to the other targets. I don't think so actually. I think it's it, it just hits yeah. everything in front of you. I didn't okay. quite see how much that... Now this is something we'll see quite a lot of in the game. Garbage heaps just laying around all over the place. Uh, there's so much loot in this game. And that's fine. Uh, okay, what do we have here? We have... Bread. And an empty tankard. Okay. Nothing in the barrel. Really? That's boring. <laughs> okay. So... Let's quickly have a look at the stats and inventory system. Yeah, we can see here we have some basic equipment already. Uh, pike staff. Very good. Oh, some random equip stuff apparently. Hmm. Additional max. Are those the resistances thing? under the pictures there? Uh, the resistances are the ones uh, right above their faces, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's what I meant, yeah. The first one is armor, then you have frost fire and poison resistance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the priest is actually fairly decently dressed. Uh, yeah. The summoner, shoes. summoner is not really properly dressed, but that's fine. Okay. Not only a club. There's not really a front and back system in this game. Like all of your party members are just on the same line. I think maybe the classes influence a bit who gets hit. Okay, we should call someone to find out where we are. Try to use the tankard on the rail. 
That should make some noise. Ratatata. You rumble on the rail for a while until the bartender from the rat hole inn came in. He explains that you drank too much last night. Then you attack the chickens of some peasant woman screaming, Die, damn orc! Fortunately, you weren't in any condition to do much harm. But you had to be locked up. Hey, that's not fair. Come on, we were just a bit drunk. The local folks haven't decided your punishment yet. Uh, sorry? Hmm. You haven't caused much damage. Uh, but Methild still can't find six of her chickens. They've run into every hole in town. I'll let you go if you promise to find and return them, okay? The amazing options we have. Yes. I'll explain our deal to Mathild and the town of Scar. Okay. And we're free to go. At least they didn't uh, let you soft lock yourself or something by saying no to the quest. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. I mean, in true hardcore RPG fashion, maybe that would have been the right thing to do. Allow yeah. you to get soft locked. True. Okay. We can uh, level up Vorgar for the first time. Uh, Uh, I think it's more of like the quest gave us experience in some oh, yeah. unexplained way. Okay, reflects damage with a shield. Chance to stun. That's pretty cool, actually. Wait, did, did you take the still money or did you take the heal when you started the game? I have the money. Should we maybe have a heal? Yes. Ah, okay. We can't level the skill over the current level of the character, anyways. Uh, I was wait, going to... you have more multiple skill points? Yep, you get two skill points every time you level up. And you can also place those into the attributes of the character. But for uh, now, I think I'm fine with having a bit more gold and some healing. Uh, yes. Raising skeletons is pretty cool, so we'll level yes. that. And then look into maybe turning into a beast. That sounds cool as well. Yeah. A savage hit can only be used in beast form. Okay. Raging beasts. What's the one to the right of the skeletons? Is uh, that the savage skill as well? This is just an attack. It's a ah, spir okay. spiritual attack. Because, uh, but we have a golem one. Yeah. Okay, this is a regeneration. This is a revive. Alchemy transforms items placed on the ground into gold, presumably. No, yeah, wait, it doesn't actually. This one is pretty cool. This. Oh. Can I get this? Nope, requires level, oh, uh, three. level 3. Okay, yeah. Which one is the golem one? Vampire. Uh, the van uh, one above uh, Stone skin. Uh, oh, okay. Fumes. Actually. Sure they had another summon. I'm pretty sure that's the. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure the, the priest oh, yeah, can summon yeah. something as well. The priest Wait. can uh, call Nigel, summons a powerful ally from heaven. Wait. Uh, I think that's a spelling no? mistake. I think it's supposed to be angel, right? Uh, probably, yeah. Summon angel. <laughs> angel. 60 HP, that's a whole lot more than the skeletons, but hey, skeletons are cool. We like skeletons. Uh, and they're free, basically. Let's also give ourselves some transformation magic, because why not? Also, the angel probably doesn't stay between uh, fights. It does. It's it a does? true. It's a true summon. Always uh, wrong. Freezing is cool, but um, but we'll level it up a bit to just. Isn't the hat a good ability to level up as well? I think. Versus lore is pretty cool, it's just more mana, which we also get for raising yeah. our constitution. Yeah, but that uh, heightens the amount you get per buff or stamina, right? Uh, or whatever it is. No, it's it, this is per level of per the level, character. Per level, ah, yeah. Creates an impenetrable wall of energy, increases resistances, unfreezes all foes and party members. This is a frost mage, apparently. Turns weapon and ground into party helpers. Okay, this is also a summoning thing, but for weapons. That could be pretty useful if we compare it. 9 to 16. Okay. So the Skeleton Bobs are better damage dealers for now, but they have actually less HP, it seems. Uh, Sparkle! 
I spot. Yeah, I think we're gonna make this guy into a frost mage. Unless yeah, we nice. find something cool. And Bring a pack, it might be nice as well, though. I'm gonna make him a slightly bit tankier, just so yeah, he doesn't definitely. get one shot. Okay, we have spent all our points, except for the warrior dude. Uh, morale of the party, max damage increase for everyone, I guess. That's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, including the skeletons. Not sure. Uh, I think that's right. true, though. I uh, think I'm remembering something from the last time we played. I think it exactly works. Well, I'll just go ahead and get that. It's still good to have more damage. Oh, it's not a passive. It's an active ability, but that's fine. He yeah. did, didn't really have any of those before. Alrighty, peasant woman. Also uh, about uh, calling the machinery, getting the money. Maybe we should wait until we get a uh, higher level of this. Perhaps. I'm just gonna switch out the abilities so I don't accidentally use the wrong ones. Okay, what can you tell us? Ah, ah you again, spoiler. Where are my missing chickens? I want all six of them back, now! Uh, look behind you, miss a free-headed chicken? Okay. So apparently that's our... Oh, arrows! And chicken legs! And brandy! Yeah, we have found our chicken! <laughs> Loot. Oh yeah, that's right! Miss, do you want this? I think maybe she wants all of the chickens at the same time, so we have she to find more. might want them alive as well, you know. No, 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 no. We just have to find more chicken legs. And then we can revive them using summoning magic. Yeah. Oh, course. right. Wasn't there a guy in the back alley that you could fight or something? Yeah, we'll get to him later. Okay, let's just have a look around. Hello, beggar. <laughs> a few coins. Hey, bust off, man. Uh, stealing my money. Sounds fun. Hello, Trevor. Are you heading east? Would you please visit my old auntie and present her my best regards for me? Please just tell her I want her to move here and live with me. It's too dangerous to be all alone in the forest. Take this. Okay, so we have our first side quest. Side quests will keep popping up in this game from time to time. We can track them from the menu. Here are all our quests. So we're on our main quest, the bet of our life. Uh, which is the bet where that we will... Uh, explore the abandoned graveyard and fight undeads. Luckily, there is no time limit on those. Nope, no time limited quests, despite the age of the game. This gate is locked permanently. Why don't I really need that? Okay. Okay, non interactables. We have some sort of magic shop here. Indeed, we do. Uh, Uh, nothing can be used by a warrior, at least. Oh, if we switch around why. here, okay. we have some things like dexterity and stuff. Okay. Oh, um, it might be a too high level or something. Since none of them can use any of them. We don't have enough money to buy them. Uh, ah, that's why. Yeah. The price is too high. Actually, we don't even have enough money to buy anything. Okay, revive potions. That sounds useful. Is that the ring there? The red one? Hmm? The, the ring in the shop. One ring to rule them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Price that... 999k. Yeah, we'll come back when we're a bit richer. Uh, yeah. Can you even get that much? I'm pretty sure you can't. And since this is quite a linear game, we can't really come back uh, later, I think. Ukmar! Ukmar is big. Ukmar is strong. Ukmar is the greatest warrior. I bet my 250 coins that I can crush that solid little skull. You bet your 250 coins? So what? Feeling your pants? Um, uh, where's the nearest what? toilet, man? Yeah. Ah. I don't think you have 250 gold, and I think you need to level up. Yeah, th that guy is actually quite strong, if I remember yeah. correctly. We'll try it out shortly. Yeah. Oh, hello, traveler. Looking for some nice armaments to defend yourself on dangerous roads. You look pretty capable to me. Maybe you're interested in a little work for 200 coins. Yeah. Bloody giant worm infested my little garden. 
Here, take this key and kill the vermin. But be warned, the worm is as big as a cow. Damn gigantic monster. You'd better get some skills and equipment first. Have a look at my fine smith wares. Um, we're still out of money, so we can't do that. Aha! What does mine eye spot? Chicken. Chicken! We'll just plonk it into our backpack. As you do. No. Now, this worm can't possibly be that bad, right? I say as I save. <laughs> okay. You can find some valuable items in this garden. Try to find healing herbs, apples, and mushrooms. Watch their effect when you consume them. Okay. The chicken. Uh, yeah, I noticed the chicken. I'm just looking for. There he is. Ha ha! Apparently, that's how you raise the morale of the party. That was a bunch of free hits right there. Yeah, this is no match. Ooh, ouch. Uh, this is easy. There we go. Man down. Uh, mushroom. Regenerates 20% of your health or stamina or poison you. Okay, so that's a random item. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> There's always the safe scum. No, yeah. we, won't, we won't be safe scumming this game. We will only be. We'll be playing it totally legit. The way the hardcore gods intended it. Uh, I think we got everything in here. Just a pass through wall here with coins and a bunch of other stuff. More coins. Okay, we're actually amassing a bit of gold. Fantastic. Now go get your 200 gold so you can buy something, maybe. Yeah, we'll just save money for now. I think it's fine. Uh... Oh, that guy has a quest, right? Perhaps. We'll see. It's so wonderful! I can get back to my lovely flowers. Thank you so much. Here are your 200 gold coins. And now, how about send, spending some of that money on this great equipment? I don't know, man. Armor. Ooh, a cutter. An axe. How does our current axe status look? Oh, we have a sword. 3 to 5. I mean, it is an upgrade, but it's And expensive. you can sell the sword for 80. Whatever. We'll get this because our main dude needs his axe. He's an axe lover. Wait, did you get experience from buying something? No! no. It's a quest uh, sword. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. quest came in a bit late. Okay, we have two chickens of the six chickens required already, so that's cool. Wait, uh, did the shop um, uh, refresh because you bought something? Because I think I saw a new weapon in there. I perhaps was the one I sold? No, it was a club. So you know Yorick from Nimnor, the village to the east. I hear he's selling some pretty unusual weapons for assassins and such stuff. I wonder if it's even legal. Well, we might find out soon, even though we can't really use those weapons. Aha! She's. Why didn't you sell the arrows, by the way? I can always do that later. We won't yeah. be leaving town for a while, it seems. There yeah. are still chickens running around everywhere. The town hall is closed. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Sorry, Wait. but you promised to find the missing chickens, and I want you let out. Uh, let, let, let you go until uh, Matthew tells me you did what you agreed to. Yeah. We have explored pretty much every nook and cranny so far. Uh, it looks like it. <laughs> yep, just the basement. Well, it's kind of a Actually, 
this might be a good place to end this first episode. We've gotten started, we created a party. And we've gotten uh, we've gotten a few quests as well, but I think this is a good place to end the first episode. This is this is basically what the game is gonna be all about. There's gonna be more puzzles later on, I think I remember. And a lot harsher combat. So we'll look forward to that. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.